Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have been uh, not doing um, enough videos. Um, like, I just couldn't seem to find, um, you know, the time. And I, I would like to update the videos uh, as much as possible. And I would like to make uh, more exciting videos. So hopefully I'll be able to work on it. Um, so... Thank you so much for joining my channel. So today's book is called The Busy World of Richard Scary Dinosaurs and Other Fun Things. Recycling, dinosaurs, icebergs, mines. So let's get to it. Recycling. We all throw away lots of garbage, but much of it can be reused. This is called a recycling. It's time to take out the garbage. Mm, complains Huckle. This is heavy. It's amazing how much garbage we throw away, Lowly says. What are you doing all this stuff, boys? Mr. Fix asks. It's garbage. We're throwing it away, Huckle replies. Don't just throw it away. You can recycle some of it, Mr. Fixit says. What's recycling? The boys ask. Recycling means using things over and over again, Mr. Fixit explains. First, separate paper, glass, plastic, and cans. Each has its own recycling bin. Old glass jars and bottles can be made into new ones, Mr. Fixit says. That sounds like magic, Lowly says. Plastic containers and wrappers can be turned into binders or rulers, Mr. Fixit continues. This is great, Huckle exclaims. Look at all the things you can make. Used paper can be cleaned and reused to make green cards and writing paper, says Mr. Fixit. Come on, Lowly, Huckle says. Let's find more things to recycle. I'm on my way. Dinosaurs. Millions of years ago, before people lived on Earth, our planet was inhabited by creatures called dinosaurs. Let's learn about them. At the library, Huckle and Lowly have found some interesting books. Yikes, Lowly exclaims. Look at this bird, Huckle. Don't worry, Lowly, Huckle says. That bird is a dinosaur who lived on Earth a long, long time ago. Dinosaurs were reptiles, which means their blood was cold, Huckle explains. Some of them might have been covered with scales or plates. Others might have had hair or fur. What strange-looking creatures they were, Lowly says. Some dinosaurs were very small, while others were taller than trees. Many dined on plants and leaves, Huckle says. Ha ha ha, a dining dinosaur, laughs Lowly. Some dinosaurs were dangerous, Huckle continues. They would scare all the others. Gee, says Lowly, I get goosebumps just looking at their pictures. Dinosaurs appeared from the earth. No one. Dinosaurs disappeared from the earth. No one is sure why, Huckle says. But we can learn about them from skeletons and fossils found in the ground. These are kept in museums so everyone can see them. Mines. Have you ever wondered where shiny metal and sparkling jewels come from? Both are found deep inside the earth in mines. Would you like to learn about them? Huckle and Lowly admire the window of a jewelry shop. 
Why don't we ever find jewels around here in busy town? Asks Huckle. Because jewels have to be dug from miles, Huckle, Loli says. Mines are tunnels carved into mountains or dug deep under the ground. Workers called miners spend their day working in these tunnels. Things of great worth, such as gold, silver, and precious stones can be found in mines. Minerals and coal are also found there. Miners dig with picks and shovels. They use powerful explosives too. Boom! After the explosion, miners may find gold or other kinds of metal. Their precious discoveries are brought to the surface by a special train. Then when cut and polished, the golden gems will find their way to the jewelry shop. Do you think there may be jewels under busy town, Loli? Huckle asks. Let's start digging and find out, says Loli. Icebergs. In the cold seas that surround the North and South Poles, you can see floating mountains of ice called icebergs. Here is how they are made. Huckle and Loli are traveling by ship through cold Arctic waters. Look, an iceberg, Huckle points. I wonder how it got here. Icebergs come from glaciers. In some places, it is so cold that snow never melts. It gets higher and higher and becomes very hard. Over millions of years, it turns to ice and becomes a glacier. Icebergs are big chunks of ice that have broken off a glacier. The sound of ice breaking from a glacier is as loud as thunder. Crash! Splash! Wow! The iceberg you see above water is just a small part of the whole thing. Most of the heavy icebergs float under the water. Right, Mr. Whale? Now, I wonder if you guys can see this map clearly and find items or things like Huckle's house, Hilda's house, Sergeant Murphy's house, Pig family house, Mr. Frumble's fire station, town hall, Mr. Fixit house, busy town hospital, the schoolhouse, Mr. Gronkle's house, the sprout farm, the recycling plant, the busy town airport, Mount Busy Observatory, the Ski Chalet, and see what else you can find. And let me know in the comments. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed this book. Don't forget to check your local library or an online store. Thank you so much. And you guys have a great day. And don't forget to share the books that I have on my channel among your family and friends. And also don't forget to click the subscribe button so I, make, so I can make better videos for you. Thank you.